Week 9, Day 5. The Israelites are continuing on that last journey through the wilderness to reach Canaan once more and to eventually uh, go in and take possession of the land that God promised to them and to their ancestors all the way back to Abraham. Well, it also includes in this particular section one of my favorite stories, Balaam and his donkey. You know, if you ever get approached by someone who says God has no sense of humor, refer them back to this story. There's plenty plenty of humor as well as irony that's going on. But there's also a great lesson here. Now, it's important to remember that Balaam is not an Israelite. Balaam is not an Israelite. He is a pagan prophet. And the kings that are uh, situated on the path that the Israelites are going through in order to reach Canaan are worried about this large people group coming in and devastating their lands. And so they approach Balaam and they say, we need you to go and curse the Israelites. Well, of course, Balaam uh, might try that. In fact, at first he he refuses, but ultimately uh, they give him a price that he's willing to try this out. But when he goes and he sees the Israelites, and the Israelites, uh, by the way, completely oblivious to all this that's going on. Every time Balaam tries to curse the Israelites, he ends up issuing forth a blessing because nothing can stand in the way of God and God's people. And so Balaam actually ends up doing the opposite of what these leaders want him to do. But what is really important here, and I think this is the lesson that we need to be sure of, is that there are often incidences and people in our lives that are watching out for us that sometimes we don't appreciate. Think about the classic part of this story about Balaam and his donkey. Balaam has had this donkey for many years. He's been a faithful steed, as it were. But as they're traveling, at one point, an angel of the Lord appears in the path, set on on destruction, on destroying Balaam. In response, the donkey, who's the only one who can see him, backs up and Balaam, not understanding, goes about and beats the donkey for not behaving. Ultimately, then, God opens his eyes so that he can see the angel in the pathway and gives the donkey speech to say, hey, I've just been trying to protect you all this time. How many times have we have fed friends and loved ones that seem to be trying to thwart our plans, but ultimately have been trying to watch out for us in, and protect us from things that we can't yet see? Let us praise God for the people that God brings into our lives to save us from destruction, sometimes from self-destruction.